Hey guys, this is Sean here from Dreamcall and today we've got something really exciting to show you guys. Um, we got Eugene behind the camera this time, so I'm going to take you through what we have in store for you today. So let's jump into the test bench. Um, we have a 3960 uh, X Track Ripper 3 system. We have the Be Quiet TR4 uh, Dark Rock Pro 4, uh, which is basically a, a Track Ripper 3 CPU cooler. We also have 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM running at 4000 megahertz. We have a quadro card here just for display purposes while we run some of the benchmarks. And we also have the Gigabyte TRX40 Aorus Extreme motherboard, which we have covered in a previous video. So click the link um, above. Okay, so we're really excited because the Track Ripper 3 has just launched, and by the time you see this video, um, it will be launch day. We have the 3960X on the system, and if we take a look on the left, we also have some CPUs, which is the 3970X as well as the 3960X, and the very hard to get 3950X. So these guys will sell like hotcakes, so get them while they last. Okay, one thing to note, the new Threadripper packaging is small, like this, compared to previous gens, uh, Thread Ripper packaging, so that's something pretty interesting. We'll maybe do unboxing of the, the processor uh, sometime in another video. Okay, but what we want to do today is really to take a look at the 3960X on this system. Okay, just come in a bit and we'll just pull up DX Diagnostics. Uh, you can see we have the AMD Ryzen Thread Ripper 3960 24 core processor and 48 threads and we have 64 gigs of memory as well as the TRX40 Aorus Extreme. The BIOS is F3B so thanks uh, Gigabyte for sending that to us early. Okay, what we're going to do now is take a look at the task manager and also take a look at the CPU utilization. So you can see a massive number of um, CPU threads here and let me count that one two three four five six seven eight so that's an eight by six with a total of 48 threads so let's just quickly put this to the side um, we're also going to open hardware monitor okay let's pull that up and you can see uh, the temperatures which is 41 degrees over here and a total of um, 24 cores. It's a huge number here. Okay, what we're gonna do now, which is more fun, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna run a Cinebench, Cinebench R20, uh, to show you how this performs with Cinebench R20. Okay, we're gonna hit run and let it do its stuff. As you can see, uh, the, the Cinebench R20 is performing extremely fast. It's rendering the scene very, very quickly. We're just gonna pop in and take a look at the temperatures. We have it at 76 degrees right now, uh, and all cores are being utilized at about 4,000 megahertz um, across all the systems, and 100% load, okay? And we have the final score of 13,497 points, which is exceedingly high. I think the 99XE from Intel, which is an 18-core part, um, only has something about 8,000, 8, is that right, Eugene? Yep, 8,700, uh, I think. 8,700 uh, points. So this would be extremely fantastic for content producers uh, doing 4K rendering, 8K rendering, as well as you know those guys using Octane Bench, Cine Bench, uh, and stuff like that. Okay, let's run that again and we'll pull up the CPU utilization just to quickly see how it jacks up. And you can see 100% utilization with a speed of 4 gigahertz across all cores, which is really astounding considering the, it's a 24 core part. Awesome, and we got another score of 13,454 points. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is to go through more 
in-depth benchmarks um, such as uh, POV Ray uh, and also Blender Test and we'll put publish all those in the, the video uh, as you're going to see soon. Okay, thanks guys and we'll catch you in a bit. Hey guys, Eugene back here with the benchmark results. Let's just dive right in and take a look. Alright, so the first benchmark we ran was Cinebench R20. As you saw earlier, the 3960X knocks it right out of the park with 13,430 points. That makes it a good 50% faster than the i9-9980XE's 8,791 points and that's just the entry-level 3rd gen Threadripper. Against the 2970X with the same number of cores and threads, we're looking at a 40% improvement over its score of 9,624. Even when benched against the Threadripper 2990WX, the 3960X still beats it by about 2,000 points, making it 17% faster. Moving on to POV Ray, the 3960X doesn't disappoint with 11,179 points per second. It beats the 9980XE's score of 8,193 by 36% and scored 22% higher than the comparable 2970WX's score of 9,159. It scored 3% higher than the top of the line 2990WX which clocked in at 10,853 points per second. Finally, we ran Blender Benchmark, which uses a blend of various Blender scenes. No surprise here, the 3960X finishes the fastest at 346 seconds, making it 8% faster than the 2990WX and 25% faster than both the 2970WX and the i9-9980XE. The story gets even more ridiculous when we bring price into the picture. I mean, in Singapore, the 2990WX retails for 2,700 Singapore dollars, but the new 3960X retails for 2,200 Singapore dollars. I mean, that's what? $500 for less than... I'm sorry, what? That's $500 less for 2,000 more points of Cinebench performance. So I, I really can't wait to take a look at the 3970X's performance. I mean, if the 3960X is any indication of performance, the 3970X will just blow it right out of the park. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos like this one. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.